no no casts, nothing. It's an amazing gel. And I probably should be talking about it more. Uh, I guess I'm kind of modest about it, but y'all, it's an amazing gel. And it's Patricia Evans here and what I'm doing today is I'm going to respond to one of the lovelies who wanted me to try a different protective style under my wig so she said why don't you put a gel and really braid it with a gel really well so that after the week when I take it out it'll be a nice braid out because I did a braid out the last video so I'm like hmm I haven't used my gel in a while so Yes, let's do that. So stay on if you're interested in seeing how I do that. I'm going to prep it now. And then next week, we're going to see what it looks like, okay? All right, so I love you so much. Let me just in introduce myself to anyone who's brand new. My name is Patricia Evans. I'm considered the belly dancing minister. So what I do on my channel is I unlock a woman's joy from her beautiful hair to her beauty from the inside out. And we keep Jesus at the center of all that we do. So if that's something that you want to be a part of and you're excited about, please make sure you've subscribed, you've clicked the bell, and you've liked the video if you've loved it share it and talk to me let me know what you're thinking about my hair journey and all the three shows that i have a week please check up all it's in the description all my shows a week the three a week okay all right let's get right into it so um I, what i did was i pre-stretched so i did my wash day routine yesterday most of it and i will give you an update but since we're so late in the year i'll wait till january when i always do it i always do it every january but i can give you parts of it so I just did a band of like just two bands because my hair, what I did was I washed it, did all my stuff and I let it dry um, in its natural state and it got really, really short curly. My hair just like shrinks really small curls. It's kind of like 4A, 3C, 4A. And um, so I let it just do what it wanted to do. But I said, if I'm going to do this with you all, I need to pre-stretch it. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to stretch it so that the next time I want to stretch my hair and I want to do a blowout, heat-free blowout, or if I want to do a braid out, a twist out, or anything like that, um, these are the things I would do. So I did my first step. It was completely dry, and then I kind of moistened it a little bit just to stretch it. It feels a little moist right now, which is really interesting. So I did two because my crown area gets really, really thick, and it's already thick in there. And I didn't comb it at all, so I did a... Pre-stretch without combing is what I did. So let's see what this starts with. And then what I'm planning to do is I'm going to use my gel. It's been a while since I've used my gel. Um, I made a new batch, so if you guys are interested. And I don't promote it as much as I probably should. But yes, I'm still full blown, blown with my <clears throat> products. I have my growth oil. As you can see here, I have my growth oil. I have Vitacos growth oil. It's amazing with over uh, 23 different ingredients, herbs and ingredients. I have my um, Ayurvedic Health Styling Jam, which is what we're going to be featuring today. It has uh, so many ingredients in it. It has flaxseed, aloe vera, um, marshmallow, um, black seed is in all of my products, by the way, because it's really, I take black seed, take it, and I put it in my hair product line. So we have my deep conditioning honey mask. This is something the Lord led me to do with my hair which makes sense because my hair needs, needs a lot of moisture. And these are all my Ayurvedic curls. And then I also have the clay that goes with the, with the oil. It is what is extracted from it. So yes, I still do it. I still sell it. I still pray over them. And some of you have already made some orders recently. So I can't quite see my hair. So I'm gonna get like a mirror and bring it closer to me so that I can see what I'm looking like. So I don't look a hot mess, like a complete hot mess. I could look like partial hot mess, but not complete hot mess. <laughs> anyway, so this is how it's stretched out. My curls were really cute, actually. They were adorable. But I just said, okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to stretch it out. So I'm going to start off with stretch. It actually feels like there's already gel in it, and it looks like it, doesn't it? But what it is, is my deep conditioning honey mask. What I do is, I my last step before I put the gel in, is I'll take this and mix it with my Shea Moisture Leave-In. Um, conditioner, a leave-in, and I put a lot of this in there and I mix it. You see it in my, my um, wash day routine, you'll see what I do. And then after I do that, which gives it a lot of this look, my curls start with the wash, the way I wash my hair. I use the Rossel clay and that gives you the clump. So it's very oily and I put a lot of oil this time because of the winter. 
So I put my deep clean dirty honey mask and I saturate it with my oils, especially on the ends. Um, that has really been helping my hair grow. If you guys have been watching my hair grow. It's very thick in here, as you can see. But what I have been reneging on lately is my last step, my gel. Usually when I do my gel, I do it while it's wet and I saturate it, I do a real good job, I band it and it comes out so pretty. This time I'm gonna take your advice and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the um, braids. Ah, I'm gonna braid my hair and see what happens after it's all said and done. All right, so let me go ahead and do the rest of my steps, but this time I'm gonna braid it instead of band it. Let's see what happens. I'll wet it first. All right, so I haven't been doing my hair regularly like I usually do because I've had my hair put away. So I haven't had to do what I normally do, which is I go in my crown area first. And I haven't been using my gel as much. Oh, I miss it so much. It's so beautiful. Oh. So I'm going to go into the more difficult part in the back. It needs more attention than the rest of my hair. It needs more gel. It needs more tender loving care. And I really have to rake it through because this is more my 4A hair, I believe. And once I know that it's really saturated and it's really in there, then I can move on to the next piece, but I can feel when it is and I can feel the curls. So now I'm ready for the other half of my crown area. Well, this is what I usually call my kitchen. <laughs> There we are, but a nice amount. I tend to take the top off of my gel because I want to put a lot more in there. But <clears throat> I keep the nozzle there for those who don't want to do like me and put too much. <laughs> I like to put a lot. I'm loving this brush, especially for that area because I'm not pulling out here. And the slip of my gel, which has a lot of slip, really, as you can see, doesn't take any hair out in the most difficult area where there should be hair. So now I can tell that my fingers are going through, the curls are there. And I'm done with that area. Let me put it away. Now this is the most easy section. I don't even need to do much. Oh, I love the smell of my gel. I just put it in and it's basically done. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to add water. Because usually when I put on my gel, it's right after I've washed my hair and it's already wet. But I did something different this time to try and stretch it. There, now let me get the ends. Look how easy it is. I don't even have to comb it, but I'll do it anyway. Just to keep everything unified because I am going to do a braid out. See, the curls are so cute. All right, I love my gel. Now I need to get yours. Now I'm going to do the rest of my hair.
done. I'm just gonna kind of brush it all together. And I haven't done my gel this, you know, much, like used, saturated my hair with my gel in a while. It's been months. I just haven't, I've just kind of been preoccupied, I guess. And I looked at an old video today and I was like, whoa, I used to wear a nice amount of my gel. So this is how much hair got it in the brush. So let's see what this looks like. So this is what my hair is looking like, you know, before I stretch it out or do anything to it. So you can see my curls shrink up really tiny. And you know, I think that's for a 3C, 4A, I'm not sure. But I have different textures all throughout my hair. Um, but definitely for tight. This is what it looks like in the back all the gel in it no no cast nothing it's an amazing gel and I probably should be talking about it more uh, I guess I'm kind of modest about it but y'all it's an amazing gel and it's great for low porosity for sealing in a moisture and it's so it has such great property all the things I have ingredients I have in it are so amazing so you're taking care of it while you're using the gel so I'm just gonna do my best with parting in the front because what we're doing is we're trying to eventually be able to wear this out right so I don't comb with this, but I am parting with it. So we want it to be, you know, an, uh, eventually turn into a style that I could actually wear at the end of the week for next week. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let me go ahead and brush that through. So now with curls like this, I normally would band this and I would band it to stretch out my curls so that, you know, I have these long curls. Like that's what you normally see. And maybe I'll do that again, but I'm going to take your advice. Now the other thing I could do is twist it like this and then at least it gives me my curl, you know? It keeps the curl going, but the problem with that is I want it to be able to stretch. Okay, I'm curious about a twist. I really am curious about what my hair will look like if I twist it. Oh gosh, I hope you guys don't mind if I change my mind last minute and I decide to twist it. I'm gonna twist it. I am not a twist out girl. I have no idea. The best way to do that, we're trying something brand new. So I'm gonna do smaller ones and I'm gonna do a twist out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it, but then I'm going to put it in a ponytail to stretch it because my hair, look at these tiny baby curls. They're like the little Shirley Temple curls. My mom used to do that when I was little actually. She used to do, she used to do the little Shirley Temple curls all my life. <laughs> Cause my hair was so curly. But they were so tiny, I always look like a little girl, you know? So. Anyway, so there, there's one. See, with my hair, I don't trust that it's gonna stay. That's why I do, don't do twist outs, because I'm like, twist outs ain't gonna stay on my head. So <laughs> it's gonna, the curl's gonna decide to do what it wants to do. So let's see, maybe this curl will stay. I would love to get into twist outs like a lot of sister, y'all sisters are doing. I really wanna get into twist outs to see how that works. So let's try a twist out this week and I'll change and I'll try the braids the next week, okay? Cause I'm really curious with this, all this gel. You know, it probably look real cute. So let me twist it. And I'm being open-minded. I've never been for the wigs and these kind of protectives on, but I'm trying to be open-minded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist it tight. I'm trying to twist it really tight. And we'll try the braid next. I'll switch it up, okay. Everybody else has been able to do twist outs, so why should we not be able to? <laughs> so let's see how these twist outs work. I just thought it would fight with my natural curl pattern, but let's see with gel, what happens. So then I get like a three in one. I could wear it out in a twist out. That's my goal, y'all. We're gonna find out what wins. The three things I'm looking for is I want to be able to wear the hairstyle out like this, a twist out out and not care. Um, I want to be able to wear it under the wig without it being uncomfortable and to allow the wig to be flat as flat as possible. And I want to be able to wear it out after I'm done with the wig. So those are the threes that I'm looking for. And perhaps the twist out might do that because I don't like wearing braids out for some reason. It doesn't, I don't enjoy, I don't think I look right with the braids. I would wear my banding out and let's see if I could do the twist out. Cause I'm sure I can turn this into a ponytail and it would look cute, you know, in the interim. So here we go. Okay. 
Okay, last one. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. What are you doing? It's my gel. So this is it, I did it. So this is why I don't do them because look how tiny they look. It, they, they just shrink up. I don't, I can't imagine how this is gonna look. I guess what people do is they stretch it out, blow it out, and they put some, they don't saturate it like this. I don't know what people do. All I know is what Patrice is about to do is to take each one and I'm going to make it into a um, ponytail. I'm gonna stretch it like this. I take it, I'm gonna stretch it. I'd hate to do this and um, mess up what the curl is supposed to be, you know? So I could band it, but then it's gonna ruin the curl. So I will pull it back like this. And just do a little bit and I'll probably pull the rest back too like all the other ones see these I find a way to pull those back too I don't want to put pins in my hair because I've, I've been blessed and I have to do that thank God but I'll take one of these out maybe and maybe get that going there that's the best stretching I can do and with this I'll just kind of tuck it uh, this is it y'all so i hope you liked it see you next week and see what ended up happening i'll be wearing this under my wig you'll see me throughout the week and um this weekend probably when i'm doing joy party tv we'll see all right love you see you next week bye